Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our little channel. I'm Mark and this is Fishing for Dinner. Today, I've got my special helper with me. And together, we're gonna to be changing the rear differential fluid on this 2017 Ford Expedition. All right, so a quick peek into the manual. It recommends for the rear axle fluid 75W85. This particular model is a two-wheel drive, so we don't have a front differential and we don't have a transfer case. All right, this particular Expedition has the conventional differential with no, it does not have the limited slip. And so it calls for 4.5 pints, 2.25 quarts. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you looked for 75, 85, or whatever the manual calls for, and you found that it was rather difficult to find unless you went with a genuine motorcraft fluid, which is fine, and however, if you shop around, you can find the majority of the aftermarket brands have varying weights of oil, and they can also be found at significantly cheaper prices in some cases. I've got extra on hand because I've, I've got some that I'm gonna be doing on the front differential on my pickup truck. The only tools that you need for this is a drain pan to drain the old oil out. And in order to get the old oil out, you'll need a 3 8 ratchet to get that the plug off and then a 3 8 ratchet to open it up. So there's a fill hole and a drain hole and they're all opened with this 3 8 ratchet. There's no differential plate on it, which makes draining and filling extremely quick. Let's get to it. All right, so underneath here, I've got some cardboard laid down and then I've got my oil catch pan under here. Now I'll take my 3 8 ratchet and put it right here. The front of the vehicle is facing this way and the rear of the vehicle is facing to your right. So this is just on the back side of the rear differential. Ugh, that is tight. Probably going to be pretty warm coming out of here. We just took a pretty lengthy trip. Oh. Well, that actually doesn't look too bad. Fluid comes out of there. Look pretty darn good, considering there's 87,000 miles on this truck. Fair amount of... Uh, sludge on this this drain plug is a magnet and it gathers all the sheared metal particles that are floating around in there to keep them from damaging the differential there's a, there's a fair amount on there but even still that oil looks good the drain hole is still open and drip draining i'll come up here to the fill hole and see if i can't break that loose that was really tight all right so i got them both out that's the fill plug that also acts as a magnet there's junk on it too see and then here's the drain plug. These look identical in size and interchangeable if you should happen to get them mixed up. But I'm going to keep mine the same just because. I'll get this cleaned off, get that drain plug plugged back in, and then we'll start adding oil. Hang in there. That, that's it. You start pumping it up until it starts overflowing. Get your 3 8 drive, screw that back in. We're gonna clean all this off with brake cleaner real good, then we'll take it around the block, make sure it's not leaking any, and then we'll call this one done. Okay, gang, you saw how easy that was. You need a 3 8 ratchet, drain out the old, a uh, 3 8 ratchet to pull out the fill plug. Put the drain plug back in, fill in the, with your new favorite uh, rear differential oil. In the particular case of this 2017 Ford Expedition, it does not have a, a limited slip rear differential, so it does not require the friction modifier or the friction additive. So I was able to add just straight differential fluid. We know that you have a choice when you YouTube and we thank you for YouTubing with us. Until next time, we'll catch you later.